Hey folks, Steve Alcorn here with you once again. Welcome back to the channel. Tonight we're going to work on removing stickers and sticker residue and how I do it. This was taught to me by the bearded picker partly and uh, so he gets the credit. This is not my idea, but it is a method that works really well and it hasn't been shown in a while. I know he did a video on it a while back, so I thought I'd do a video and show you how it works for me. Uh, this is a product that I'm not selling, but it doesn't matter. This works on just about anything. So we're going to give it a shot. If you like what you see tonight, don't forget to hit that like button down below. Leave us a comment. We like to know how we're doing. Subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, let's get to it. All right, this is just a uh, Dollar Tree mirror. Uh, as you can see, there is a sticker in the middle. I engraved these on my Glowforge. Uh, if you don't know about that, I will try to remember to put a link in the channel. You guys can go visit my other channel where I do uh, laser engraving. Uh, but so, but this works for that, and it also works for reselling stuff. I've taken stickers off of many a thing uh, with this method. Where is that? There it is. I didn't like that in the camera view, so we moved it. Uh, so we're going to show you the method that I'm going to use on this particular item, and then uh, talk a little bit about why it works and what we're doing. So. Of course, the old trusty heat gun is the first step in this process, but it's not the last. This one is Nicole Heat Tool. Uh, it's, I think I have a link, uh, an affiliate link in the description, not for this particular heat gun, but for a heat gun. If not, just look up heat gun on Amazon and you'll find something similar. Uh, in a pinch, you can use a hair dryer. Doesn't work as well. Uh, the, the ones that have dual speeds, like a high speed on them, work a little bit better, uh, but this is far superior and works really well. You can get these fairly cheap, under 20 bucks, I believe. Uh, I don't know what this one, I got this one at a yard sale. It was brand new in the packaging, so I bought it. That was only a couple bucks, so. Uh, the other one I have was, I think, 15 on Amazon. So it was a while ago, but they're cheap. So we're gonna go ahead and use this. If the volume's too loud on the video, I will turn it down and put some music there or something. But we're gonna go ahead. Before we do that, I'm going to show you this sticker is stuck. I mean, it's it's not coming off. If I do that, it'll peel uh, and it'll leave a lot of little, it'll take a long time to do it that way. So even with a Scotty peeler, that would take a while. So heat will just loosen the glue underneath. That should be more than enough. We're going to start in the same area that we were just to show you that it will work. Now you guys still got to get up under there with your Scotty peeler or fingernail or however you do it, but now you can see if you take it nice and slow and here's another little tip. If you do it like this where you pull it right back on top of itself, it tends to go better. Now if you get stuck, like right there, it doesn't want to go and it's leaving some residue, hit, hit it again. Hit it on this side. do that with your fingers there not on that gun that thing will burn you and now you can see it's peeling off a lot better uh, I want to leave some residue so I can show you how to get that off as well so there you go there is a residue right there and even part of the sticker left so heat gun didn't take it all off but it did a really really good job on a tough sticker and you saw that was a really tough sticker to get off here is the second equation this stuff is a miracle when it comes to residue and sticker removal You'll want to use this on things such as DVDs or something with a, you know, a plastic cover, something that will melt if you put heat on it. Uh, and to do that, you can literally just put a little bit right on the sticker and you can see how it absorbed in there. Uh, there's some residue there. Or you can also just go right on straight onto a rag or a, I know uh, Scott uses makeup wedges, those sorts of things. Uh, so now, the rest of that sticker with the uh, rosin all underneath pe peeled right up. Now we got the residue. Simple enough. Go ahead, there's a little sticker left. We can even get that. Rosin all will dry clear. Will not leave any 
residue will not leave any uh, markings on the paper and will most importantly not leave an odor for your customers uh, that would be bad so there you go uh, run your finger across it nothing there well what what about other things you know sticky stickies uh, these are sticky stickies let's see how they come off with your finger not very good <laughs> as you can see it's, it's a hard thing to do so we'll go ahead and soak that one a little bit let him set we're gonna put it right on top of these other three no, for the Glowforge, that I, when I use these on the Glowforge, I remove that so that I can get more of a, an engrave. This is a mirror, and on the other side, when you engrave on the back side, it shows through on the front. So right now, if I peel that edge up just a little bit on all three of them, it'll allow some of that to go down in there. And then wipe my finger. Now I'm back. That peeled right off. That peeled right off that peeled right off. Now it did leave a little piece. Take the rag. This works with a lot of different things. Uh, if you have uh, sticker residue, this box was coated in really old sticker residue today and you can even still see a little bit right there. It was, this whole box was black with sticker residue and it came right off. It was really nice. So as you can see, wipe it down a little bit. I still got a little bit sticky on where the feet were. I'll go ahead and hit that with a little bit right on the rag like that. Wipe it, wipe it, wipe it. Now I'll run my finger across, make sure we're good. Absolutely no sticker residue on that thing. And as you can see, it's dry, it's ready to go. Maybe a, uh, when you're completely done, if you have some streaks or something, which you shouldn't, you can also use a little bit of rubbing alcohol. It will mix it. It's okay. It ain't gonna hurt nothing. Uh, but generally, this works way better than anything else. So there's your combination: rosinol, a rag, a sticky thing, and there you go. That's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. You folks have a good day.